It's 2024 and these battery packs are about to get obsolete. So this is a battery pack that I pulled out of this light that I just disassembled. And I've done this before because here is the battery board of a previous battery that we removed. Now I'm done buying these battery packs because if you just buy a battery pack for many of these devices, A, they're not easy to replace and B, they're not readily available. So you need to send this light to a service center and they will replace the battery for you and they'll charge you upwards of six to 8,000 rupees for uh, just a single battery replacement. And I don't want to do that anymore because this battery pack is made up of these batteries and these are 18650 batteries and each of these batteries costs about 300 rupees but if i take four of these that's only 1200 rupees worth of batteries and these are actually higher capacity samsung cells so these are lesser capacity and not as reliable in terms of the quality of the batteries and you end up paying more so how do you fix it? Well, to start off with, you need a battery board that will give you the same voltage. So since we already experimented with the previous one and fried it completely, you need a battery board. And while this costs six to 8,000 rupees, I ended up spending more, but in the long run, it'll come back. So what you need is a battery welding device. We've actually checked this out in an online gadget finds video, and we link that in the description below if you want more information on this battery sort of welding tool. Then you need some cabling. You need this battery board. You can also find this easily on Amazon. We link this one in the description below. This particular light requires a 14 point four volt battery pack and you can see over here this one is 14.8 volts at its maximum charge capacity so all we need to do is put all of this together and it's rather simple if you know the basics so what i've done is i've created these uh, cable uh, attachments uh, that will that have nickel strips over here so we can easily sort of connect these two batteries and then we are going to use this device. So this is battery powered and you want to set a voltage. Now I've had a lot of uh, practice with this. So I know that somewhere between six and seven is where I need to be to sort of connect these 15 to 20 mm strips. So that's what I'm going to do. So to start off with, I'm going to remove this battery. So since we're going to be connecting the negative side first, I'm just going to do this. so that I can have my hands free. So now using the foot pedal, directly onto the battery. You wanna do this in a well-ventilated, safe environment. So now this is my first connection and now I need to sort of connect uh, the other strip. So I'll pass this through this over here, like so, connect my battery pack over here like that. And then I will bring this close. So then my second cable, which will be sort of connecting between these two is uh, what needs to go here. So let's connect it over here. Then using the foot pedal, you create these welds and these are nice and clean welds. And then you just confirm. It's, and then what you do is you need to connect the positive to the negative. So I'm gonna do that over here. Since we need this to be in a single line, we're gonna be folding these nickel strips as well later on. So now that we have our battery pack somewhat ready, what we want to do is start attaching each point uh, to these points marked on the board. So you want to get zero volt here, so that's a negative terminal. And then you want to get 3.7 volts, so that's over here at the first point. And then you want to have 7.4 volts, uh, that's over here in the middle. And then you want to get 11.1 .1 volts, which is uh, this third point over here. And then at the end, which is the full battery pack, which is the 4.8 volts, you want to connect over here. So that way you get all your connections in order. It's rather simple. So we we'll start soldering and then see how this is looking. So that basically completes our battery board. We still need to connect the positive and the negative. So what I'll do is I'll take this destroyed board over here. Since it already has the connector that goes into the light, I'm going to use these to create the positive and the negative uh, cable for uh, charging and discharging the battery. So let's quickly do that. Again, these are marked on the board quite nicely. I'll just have to make a new cut. Let's quickly cut this. So we've finished the uh, power uh, sort of battery pack, but uh, before we close it up, I want to test it. So I'm going to plug this in over here into our light and then see if it runs. Oh, it's, it's actually turning on 
and it's also showing me how much my battery percentage is on the display over here which is great so basically this experiment has been a success we've got a battery pack over here what i'm going to do is wrap this up and then show you the final result so now we've got everything insulated so no open wires or connections and uh, we've got the cable properly plugged in in uh, the connector over here and uh, for one last time i'm going to try and turn it on real quick and it works and we can see uh, the battery percentage and everything on the display. So this was more or less a success and this is what I'm trying to do. And while I've spent a lot more buying these tools, uh, which uh, will come in handy in the future, the idea here is that you can actually build your own batteries. It's not for the faint of heart. If you don't have any idea of how voltages work or how voltage and amps can be modified by switching around batteries in series and batteries in parallel, you'll have to sort of read up on it if you want to do this well that was this video i hope you guys enjoyed all the parts all the tools everything that we've used is in the description below if you have any questions or queries drop them in the comment section below as well i'll try and help you out wherever i can and if you enjoyed smash like hit subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one till then batteries banalo